Hello everyone, I'm the NFC and this is Blue Lines TV and today I'm bringing back the player rating video. Now, I know a lot of you guys loved it when I brought it when we did play Arsenal and for this game of course I had to bring up the player rating video. So I hope you guys enjoy but before I get into the video please smash that like button. Help me get more than 500 likes for this video and also hit that bell notification button and stay tuned to all things Blue Lions TV. But time to get straight into the player rating video. Starting with Courtois. Now pros. Pros, his handling in the box was very good, especially from set pieces. He really didn't have to make any saves because Barcelona didn't offer any threat. Even for the goal that we did concede, it wasn't really his fault at all. But maybe one area where he had his cons, that was the fact that some of his distribution out from the back was poor at times. And the player racing I'm giving Courtois is going to be a 6 out of 10. Moving on to Andreas Christensen. Pros. His positional awareness was amazing, he made sure no one got in behind and he really organised the defence very well. Another pro is the fact that he swept up any danger in behind. Whenever Barca players rarely got into our books, Christensen was always offering defensive support in our books because he was able to push out wide and really help defend against Barcelona. And another pro is the fact that he was good aerially. But it comes to cons and it's unfortunate because Mr. 95% pass completion Christensen, he really had a game where he made two sloppy passes in his own half and unfortunately one of them really paid the price. He overhit that pass, it wasn't really Fabregas' fault and Aspilicueta, yes, maybe he didn't have to dive in but in a way it was all he could do at the time and because of that he is going to lose a rating and Christensen is going to get a 6.5 out of 10. Now moving on to the back three, starting with Rudiger on the right hand side. Pros, his passing accuracy was very good, he had the highest passing accuracy compared to any of the back three. His distribution out from the back was key in helping us relieve pressure, he played some amazing outfield passes to Moses on the right hand side and to the wing backs and he was exceptional at pushing up to when he needed to as well. Another pro was the fact that he didn't commit any fouls and another positive was the fact that he was confident to break the lines and push up into Barcelona's half. It was his best ever Chelsea performance. Cons. Now the reason why Rudiger's rating has been dropped by a point is the fact that a few occasions, literally two or three times, he wasn't in line with the defence and he did one thing criminal which I keep seeing him do time and time again and I'm hoping that he improves when it comes to that but there's one thing that he does all the time and that's the fact that he gets caught underneath crosses and long field passes too often. Now really for that Suarez situation, he should have cleared that. I don't see how he got caught underneath the pass and how Suarez could even have gotten to that ball. He really should have snuffed that out, especially when he was so crucial in this game today. And that's the reason why he's lost a point. Now the player rating for Antonio Rudiger is 7 out of 10. And to end on the final defender, and that is Aspilicueta. Pros, his positional awareness was amazing as well. He kept Suarez in his pocket throughout the entire game, he got tight to him, he was physical, he was rough and he was very accurate with his tackles and his interceptions. And his interceptions were amazing because he read the game completely, he knew when to push out wide to help defend, he knew when to leave his defensive lines and break into midfield to make a tackle. He was exceptional and he was our best defender of the night. Cons, the only cons really was that his passing accuracy was pretty low, he was guilty at losing possession in our own half at times and his pass accuracy was in fact 11 and 13% lower than Christensen's and Rudiger's. And maybe the other con is the fact that maybe he didn't have to slide in for Iniesta but again it is pretty harsh. The player rating I'm giving Aspilicueta is an 8 out of 10. Now moving on to the midfielders starting with that guy N'Golo Kante. Pros, his positional awareness Alongside Cesc Fabregas, they were literally a fortress in the middle of the pitch and they were one of the main reasons as to why Messi was dispossessed so often throughout this game. Another pro is the fact that today wasn't about how many tackles he necessarily won, it was about how he used his amazing low centre of gravity to help Harry Barcelona players and stick with their runs. He really helped with stopping Barcelona's threat in the middle of the pitch. And lastly, the last pro is the fact that he was able to break the lines 
amazingly well. He was carrying the ball from deep. He needed to counter-attack. And honestly, I kind of feel that if Willian did play that pass into him when Kante did make that run to break the lines, I think he could have scored and potentially that could have been a 2-0 win. Now for cons, really the only con I can say is that maybe some of his passing accuracy in the final third could have been a bit better. There was one moment in particular where he didn't put enough weight behind the pass for William, where if he put more weight in and played it earlier, William could have been running in on goal. The player rating I will be giving N'Golo Kante today is a 7.5 out of 10. Now moving on to the last midfield player and that is Cesc Fabregas. Starting with pros, 1. Positional awareness was amazing as I was saying earlier, a fortress in the middle with N'Golo Kante. Another pro is the fact that he made the most tackles in midfield today, especially a lot of key and vital tackles. He won 3 out of 4 tackles and he made vital interceptions as well. It was an amazing defensive performance and honestly, this myth that Fabregas can't play in a 2, I'm hoping after this game, just stops and it just ends. Another pro is the fact that he was able to help us beat Barcelona's first phase of pressing with amazing accuracy from deep being the passing outlet to players in the attacking positions as well and he just didn't lose the ball much and he really helps us play out from the back when we were under pressure and this is why I like this guy playing in midfields. Cons, some of his counter-attacking passes weren't as accurate but the player rating I will be giving Cesc Fabregas today is an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the wing back starting with Victor Moses. Pros, won the most tackles out of any Chelsea player tonight, incredibly winning 5 tackles and having a 100% tackling success rate. He didn't lose a single tackle. He completely nullified Jordi Alba completely. He got tight to him, pressed him tight and Alba couldn't get past him once. If we're talking about Alba probably being the best left back in the world so far this season, no one's been able to stop him. Moses did that tonight. He was not dribbled past today. He got forward very well and he was able to keep the ball up and help relieve pressure becoming a passing outlet and also using his strength to great effect. This game really highlighted his amazing defensive abilities. This guy needs to start getting more praise. You can't be a bad player and have a performance like this. He's amazing to me. He's one of the top 10 right backs, right ring backs in Europe. To stop Jordi Alba is incredible. And for cons, really, the only cons I can say is that some of his passing decisions on the counter-attack could have been a bit more accurate, but the player rating I'm giving Victor Moses today is an 8.5 out of 10. Now, moving on to Marcus Alonso. Pros, his passing accuracy was very good. He helped keep the ball under pressure very well, especially when Barcelona players were pressing him. Another pro is that Cruyff turned nutmeg on Rakitic. Amazing piece of skill. And another pro is the fact that he kept in line with the defence and didn't let anyone get past him at all on that right hand side. Now for cons, really, he didn't do anything bad in this game. The player rating I will be giving Marcus Alonso is a 7 out of 10. Unsurprisingly, due to Barcelona's lack of threat on the right hand side, this was a pretty comfortable game for Marcus Alonso. Now moving straight into the attacking player, starting with that main guy, Prince William. And William today was amazing, starting with his pros, accuracy of shooting. Another pro is the fact that he really helps us transition from defence into attack by collecting the ball from deep and running with it and carrying the ball with him. He was constantly skipping past Barcelona players. Another pro is the fact that today, William took responsibility. He utilised the spaces created by Hazard to an amazing effect and Barca just had no plans for him. Another pro is the fact that his goal was incredible and really it continues that trend of scoring amazing goals against Barcelona. And the next pro is the fact that his pressing was on point. He really got tight to players and really closed down the spaces and he was so effective today in this game. Honestly, I'm lucky to only score a goal, hitting the post twice, he should have done more. So unfortunate but today it was a world class performance by William. Now moving on to cons and really he wasn't as effective at times with his use of the ball. Sometimes he was losing it with link-up play and sometimes his final pass wasn't necessarily on point. And that final pass I'm talking about is a pass he should have played to N'Golo Kante when Kante was free on the left-hand side. William should have played a quick pass to him regardless if it's Kante. I'm confident Kante would have scored in that. And unfortunately, when he lost possession of the ball, Messi collects it, makes that pass to Suarez and that's when we were that's when we basically conceded the goal straight afterwards. So his player rating for this game is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. 
Now moving on to the next attacking player, and that's that guy Eden Hazard, starting with pros. His ability to draw Barcelona players to him was key in helping up free the space for William in particular and Pedro. Whenever Hazard was on the ball, he was commanding at least three or four Barcelona players. Another pro was the fact that he had some great moments of skill and his dribbling was pretty effective at times. I mean, he completed the second most dribbles in this game today out of any player on the pitch. He completed more dribbles than Messi in this game. And the last fact was that he played some nice key passes in this game. But moving on to cons, it wasn't the most effective game by Eden Hazard last night. He did give away possession a bit at times, his passing accuracy wasn't as high and he was kind of sloppy, especially sometimes when it came to making the final pass as well. And the last con was the fact that he did struggle with the physicality put on him by Umtiti and PK at times. But the player rating I will be giving Eden Hazard is going to be a 6 out of 10. Now moving on to the last attacking player and that is Pedro Rodriguez. Starting with pros. And the first pro is the fact that his defensive work rate was amazing in this game. He was amazing at fulfilling his tactical duties, especially when it came to dropping deep and knowing when to press high as well. And he really helped keep us that shape in the team. And it was one of his best ever defensive performances at Chelsea. And another pro is the fact that whenever he was pressing, he was getting tight to Barcelona players and he was up for the physical battle. But moving on to cons, and really he was the weakest offensively compared to the other two attacking players. And sometimes he did give away some sloppy passes in this game as well, especially during the first half, like the first 10 minutes, playing that crazy pass through the middle of the pitch. So the player rating I will be giving Pedro for this game today is going to be a 6 out of 10. Now moving on to the sub, starting with Drinkwater, and when he came on, he provided that solidity in the middle of the pitch, and you can really tell that him and Kante have that defensive relationship, and honestly he was solid, and the player rating that Danny Drinkwater is going to get is going to be a 6 out of 10. And moving on to Morata, when Morata came on, he didn't really provide much of anything. He didn't really provide much of an aerial threat. The only thing that his presence did inspire was the fact that Hazard could play on the left hand side where he was able to have a bit more freedom and run at Barcelona players. But really than that, he didn't really offer anything noticeable on the pitch. So Alvaro Morata is going to get a player rating of 5 out of 10. Now moving on to the manager rating, just how well did Antonio Conte do today in this game? Now starting with pros, and the first thing is he got the system perfectly right for this game. The next pro is the fact that his tactical innovations, the way we used that 4-4-2 off the ball, was key in helping us stopping Jordi Alba's threat, plus keeping that solidity in the middle of the pitch, as well as helping us provide that forward pressing and that high pressing as well. The fact that we nullified Messi completely. As I said earlier, the most dispossessions in the entire game out of any player. And the last two pros are the fact that he was brave and he had a very positive approach for the game against Barcelona because he set the team out to win and he took a risk and it paid off. And this is the Antonio Conte that I want to see more of. And this is the Antonio Conte that I like. Honestly, from now on, he did say before that this was going to be a test to see just how good his team was against Barcelona. I think they've proven that test, so it's now time for Conte to have more faith and trust in the squads. Now moving on to cons, and it's not the biggest con, but it is definitely a talking point. And maybe he could have subbed on Alvaro Morata earlier before Barcelona scored that equaliser. Maybe if he had taken off Pedro earlier around the 60th minute when he brought on Morata, that could have been key. And that would have been key because it could have helped Hazard play out one on the left even more. Which could have forced back Barcelona a bit more and we could have had some more attacking threat. But again, it's not the biggest con. And the manager rating I'm going to be giving Antonio Conte is a 9 out of 10. As I said, I want to see more of this Antonio Conte. Now to end things on the entertainment rating for this game. Starting with the pros, it was exciting due to the high pressing and positive approach that Chelsea took in this game. It was exciting too because we pushed a lot of men forward on the counter-attacks. It was a defensive masterstroke, amazing technical player as well, and it was a very tenacious performance. And for cons, really the only cons were the fact that Barcelona were pretty boring in this game. They didn't really provide any attacking threat. They didn't really stretch the game much at all. They didn't provide any exciting moments. And really in terms of the classic games we played against Barcelona, it's not one of the best we played. But I think for the entertainment rating for this game, I've gone for a 7 out of 10. 
Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. What are some of your player ratings that you would have given in this game? Who do you think was the best player? Who was the worst player? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, hit that bell notification sign to stay tuned to all things Blue Lines TV. Smash that like button, help me get 500 likes with this video. And you guys, I'm going to be releasing another video later today. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. I'm the NEFC. This is Blue Lines TV, signing out.